And here you can see the three uh, connected domes. Two of them are transparent. They... This geodesic pavilion floats in the port of Rotterdam. I think the floating city might be the safest place to be if there's a hurricane or a flood. That's the place where I would go. Rucker de Graaf runs the firm that designed the pavilion, which hosts conferences, performances, and parties. So it shows that it's actually possible to make large buildings uh, that float on the water. And as such, it's the first step towards creating collections of floating buildings and infrastructure, which in the end will lead to creating floating cities. He calls it a blue revolution. Eventually, he envisions self-sustaining cities in the middle of the ocean. I think we'll definitely live on the oceans before we're going to live on the moon or Mars. It seems far-fetched, and it won't be all clear sailing. In Delft, a developer built these two floating homes way out of balance. One is listing badly, the other is level thanks only to 6,500 pounds of water stored on one side of the basement. They are looking for a more permanent solution. Keeping their feet dry has always been a Dutch priority, but the key lesson they have learned over the years, simply fending off the water as if it were a mortal enemy, is like tilting at windmills.